Hi everyone, I wanted to share a story about a grocery store trip that I did recently. It hit me as I'm looking at the different gallons of milk and the different expiration dates, I said, you know, this is a perfect way to explain interest rate risk when it comes to a bond portfolio. My name is Joe Conroy, I'm a certified financial planner and the owner of Harford Retirement Planners. A lot of people have been loading up on bonds in their portfolio and getting away from stocks to get away from volatility and what they perceive as risk. So let me backtrack and tell you about my grocery trip and uh, then relate it to bonds. So when I'm at the grocery store, I'm looking to buy a gallon of milk and there's a whole row in front of me and I did what everybody does. I look for the longer expiration date. I had a couple of different options and I picked the date that's the longest, right? That's what most people do. On the bond and fixed income side, people will buy them, let's say it's an original issue and you get just a hypothetical 3% interest rate. Well, bond prices and interest rates will move. So if interest rates, if you buy it at 3% and now going forward, new bonds are at 4%, who's really gonna wanna buy your 3% bond? It's kind of like a gallon of milk with an older expiration date. You're gonna have to discount that for people to get interested in buying it. As you get older, most people go more into bonds and it's just important to know that there are some potential drawbacks uh, to be aware of and just make sure you account for that in your planning. Uh, as always, thank you for watching.